We're back, people, and today we're breaking a film on Liam Eikenberg, back for the sequel, Versus the Panthers, and it was definitely, uh, better than the original performance, uh, versus the Bills. The Bills one was pretty atrocious. This one, he was fun. He did his job. Nothing too crazy. He wasn't, you know, standout-ish in either direction, positive or negative, negative. and I think that's a good thing. You take that. Um, nothing if not fair. If he's gonna play better, I'm gonna give him, you know, his credit. There's still things, you know, you want to see him work on. I'm a little bit worried, you know, if this thing turns into a trilogy and we see him versus the Eagles, it could get ugly. But, you know, he played pretty solid versus the Panthers, did what was asked of him, looked better pretty much in every play or in every scenario, had an easier matchup too. You know, here he is in pass pro just going one-on-one -on -one with the nose right there. And he just does a better job bending at the knees, not getting super overextended, his techniques better, staying square, attacking half the man. You can see how he has that right hand into like the sternum, the middle of the chest there. That's exactly what you want. And he's going high hand, low hand, fighting, uh, separating. You see him flexing with the, like flexible with the hips right there. Just some pretty decent stuff. Nothing too crazy. I think the biggest negative in this game is the guy that he was blocking kept getting pass deflection. And he had like, I think three. And sometimes that's like an offensive line stat, like keeping those guys' hands down. So that's something he definitely needs to, you know, pay attention to. But Got to give some credit to Eichenberg. Hopefully, we don't have to see the part three, but that kind of looks like where it's going. Eichenberg, not the most athletic, and he's just got to be able to make up for this by making good decisions. Like, he just completely lets this guy go, which Mostert gets really mad at him. He's yelling at him on the play. That's his guy. And, then like, even if he's going to miss him, he's got to make it more obvious that he's just going to second level and Julian Hill can take him. But he's his angle right here makes him look like, hey, he's going to take that guy. Hill will keep going, which, you know, he's more athletic. He's a tight end. Eichenberg should be taking the first level guy because he's the first one out there. But he just runs right past him, just making, you know, a mental mistake, men mental error. And if you know your guy, you're not the most powerful. You're not the most athletic. you got to be on your game from the mental side, processing things, understanding where your blocking assignment is, can't keep making these mistakes because, you know, this wasn't too often in this game, but it was, you know, something that he struggled with throughout his career, and I don't, just don't see these things getting that much better overall, so I don't have a ton of hope for the future, but at least he is, you know, played at a, a serviceable level in this one, which shows at least you don't have to be, you know, it's not the end of the world if he has to play, but it's definitely, you know, not, not ideal. Yeah, this nose right here, 99, wasn't really a threat as like a pass rusher at all. Liam actually did a good job not getting pushed back, not getting overpowered, having good technique. It was just a lot of quick passes though, so he didn't get like a ton of time to actually get beat. But you can see when it's just like straight up like this, the guys just head up on him and he can just square him up right away. He can have some decent technique, has a wide base, he's bending at the knees, not getting overextended, his hands are in good placement, he's resetting the hands to, you know, regain his positioning, that's good stuff, that's what you want to see out of your offensive lineman. Now the ball's coming out super quick, so this guy never has a chance to actually get there, but you can see the initial part of the technique at least being pretty solid with his hands combined with his feet, and just overall base technique, those things looking at least better when he doesn't have to face like super high-end talent. This reach block right here from Mikenberg is actually pretty nice. Just head up, hook in your hips. You got to hook that guy right away. They only gain three yards because it's not blocked perfectly to the other side. But, you know, having a guy head up on you, take your first step on the pitch, you know, outside zone type work, and he's just attacking half outside the man. This is perfect. He has that left shoulder lined up at the midpoint of this defensive lineman. So now he has to just get his hips across, and what he does, and that's exactly what you got to do on your job there. I wouldn't say he's the most dominant, you know, I mean, I wouldn't say at all he's a good run blocker, but like when he does have good run blocking reps, it's usually, you know, not from displacing moving people. It's just getting in your positioning and having decent technique because if this was blocked up perfectly over here or he wanted to cut back in this lane, which it looks bigger than it was because he starts to cut to the outside. So if he did hit here, like these guys could have peeled off and made a tackle, but he definitely does his specific job on this play. Uh, so got to give you some credit there to Liam. Honestly, the whole O-line and Julian Hill and Mostert, Durham Smythe, they all deserve some credit on this one just for how beautifully this was blocked up. We really pay attention. Obviously, we're just looking at Eichenberg here, but everyone else really does their job. He's fading, facing like a shaded one tech pretty close, but he just hooks him right away. This is more impressive than the other one because the other one, they were head up, but when this guy's a little bit to the play side here, He's able to show some burst, some lateral quickness off the ball, which is nice. Hooks him right away, and that's all you got to do sometimes. You know, he gets pushed backward a little bit. That's, you know, as long as you don't get displaced too much, he gets high hand, low hand, and now you're just hooked onto him, sustained long enough, so where he does have to hit that cutback lane, this guy never has a chance to even get involved. 
uh, so 99 wasn't too much of a factor other than the past deflections, I believe. But yeah, Eichenberg was at least, you know, getting in position and not getting, uh, being a huge liability, which I think, you know, definitely helped this team be a little more effective, a little more efficient, consistent, and hopefully they can get Connor Williams back. But if Liam, it was his first game playing center versus the Bills, so got to give him at least a little bit of slack. Don't have super high hopes, but we'll see how it ends up playing out. Here's one of the pass deflections. I literally think all of the pass deflections this game, because there was two or three, and they all came against Eichenberg's block. Because <laughs> if you look, there's some other situations that I noticed through the film that guys try to get their hands up, but the O-linemen did a better job of like pushing them out of the way, or they see them get their hands up, you push them on their back. Like If this guy jumps up like this to get hands in the way, you got to push them, put them on their back, punish them for being jumpers. You got to punish jumpers. That's a thing offensive linemen are taught or just keep their hands down. You're hand fighting. Um, and you know, this takes away some opportunities. I actually don't think it hurt them on some of them. Like it was some of not, like, like, I don't know if they would have, they wouldn't have been picked, but it would have been probably incomplete. They weren't two as like best decisions on the, you know, past deflections for sure. But that's something, you know, Eichenberg definitely needs to work on some, the nuanced parts of his game. Here we got Liam not panicking on this play, not, you know, doing the splits, which <laughs> on a similar play on like a stun or things like that, you know, that's what might what he have done last week. And um, am I even speaking English? But here we go. Seeing this, he gets control of the situation versus the nose. They try and he passes this off to win. And once he gets complete control to win, extend, use that inside hand, you know, into the middle of the chest, good placement, power of that hand. And then you just drive him out of the way, looking a lot more comfortable here, not being, you know, panicked in his over, you know, extension, being like, oh god, he's, I gotta get there, and then taking himself out of the play, ending up on the ground, that's some good work there from Liam, gotta give him the credit, especially from his turnaround from the last time he ended up playing, you can tell he's at least putting in the work, which is nice to see, uh, the whole line has obviously improved, and I do think, from what I've seen from Eichenberg and the little he played in the preseason in these two games, um, I would say there's not much of an improvement, but I would say his technique looks slightly better than it has in the past even though he looked absolutely terrible versus the bills this game enough showed me that he at least has improved the technique there's just the physical and athletic limitations that you know he'll struggle with against very good defensive tackles eichenberg in pass protection again just getting a one-on-one -on -one, doing some pretty good work this is actually a good example of where he would have lost last week because you look at this this guy's lineup was like a three he gave up a sack or not last week but against the bills he gave up a sack to a guy that was playing as more of like a 3-4-I type of position. He gets a little lucky that his first steps to the inside, so it almost like takes away that he's a 3. But they're sliding to the right here, and Eichenberg has struggled to get out to this spot. This guy would have beaten him to the end, this spot here. And he's just able to ride with him. Good hand fighting, uh, resetting, good technique, good wide base, bend at the knees. See how this guy's hand fighting here, and he just resets, gets back underneath in your position, win that leverage battle. Now just drive him out. Give Tua some time to make this deep out throw to Tyreek Hill. Much, much better execution this time from Liam. It's definitely a little bit easier just based on that three text initial first steps. So he doesn't have to get super wide to the outside. But like he got beat on that multiple times in the Bills game. So it's nice to see him at least take the right steps in the right direction. Last play that we're going to break down the Raheem Mostert touchdown. Here he is at center. And, you know, he gets displaced a little bit, a little bit pushed back. But they're trying to hit right off the back of, you know, this right here. So you just want to get in your spot, down block, turn them out the way. You're going to get pushed back. It doesn't matter. You got good hand placement. Torque this guy, strain like this to at least turn, get the positioning, and hold on to it long enough, sustain, so this guy can't get off and make an impact, even if he shoots into the backfield and gets some push on you. Because you're not the strongest guy, so you got to be winning with things like nuance, um, positioning, leverage, things like that. And, I mean, hey. Let's see Liam get excited for a touchdown. That's what I want to see, you know. Um, players out there trying to improve. Might be, you know, one of the more, uh, I don't want to say weak link out there, but that's kind of, you know, what he was versus the Bills. It's, it's at least exciting to see, you know, the improvement. Got to give him some credit. The sequel, hey, better than the original uh, <laughs> in this case. <laughs> but I don't want to see the trilogy. I don't want to see the third movie, okay? Uh, but that's probably what we're going to see. The Eagles, it could be a little tough up front. It's going to be the toughest front they faced along with that Bills front. And uh, also a little worried about the defense too. But if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.